white space spectrum is the, the spectrum that's currently not being used by broadcasters. Um, broadcasters, uh, you know, obviously they've been around for a long time. The FCC allocated, uh, you know, ki kind of what I like to call the Goldilocks spectrum, the best spectrum. Wavelength's not too long, it's not too short, it's the best stuff. They allocated that to the broadcasters in the 1930s, first, world's first killer broadband app. Um, things have changed a lot. Um, you, you know, I think I, I've heard reports that only 10 or 20 percent of the, the folks out there actually watch over the air TV. And, you, you know, uh, th th this, this broadcaster spectrum is not being heavily used, uh, as heavily used as it once was. The FCC recognizes that. And uh, they put together this initiative to, to be able to, to make this, uh, this spectrum, this very valuable spectrum, available for unlicensed use, much like that, that you could use for Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So what you need is um, an ecosystem that allows um, sharing of that spectrum between the broadcasters and unlicensed users like you and me um, to be able to share that without interference. And, and that's, that's the type of ecosystem that th these guys are promoting and, and hoping to build here with this initiative. The, the, the final version's been released and, and kind of the certification process is starting. Uh, actually at Spectrum Bridge where we've created the technology that kind of works behind the scenes to manage that, um, that that whole space and make sure this this interference doesn't occur, um, and we've actually g created the solution. It's it's being it's going to the FCC this week for certification. So made a significant amount of progress, and it is actually moving forward. What XG does is we've created the world's first carrier class cognitive radio networks that can opportunistically use unlicensed frequencies. Uh, frequencies like TV white space and even license spectrum to extract more bandwidth out of underutilized and unused spectrum. So for example, we're using uh, 900 megahertz spectrum today. Uh, most people consider it junk spectrum because it's, it's so crowded. Uh, we're able actually to clean it up and extract anywhere between, I don't know, 80 to 85 percent of the total bandwidth into clean spectrum. So to filter out the 15 percent that's being used. Uh, we see TV white space as playing an important role in what we're doing, but probably in the future, something like 12 to 18 months. Uh, as Jeff said, it's really important for the ecosystem to develop. And, you know, we see that ecosystem developing, you know, in, in about that time frame, and we want to make sure we're part of it. You know, the, the, the databases like Spectrum Bridge, they'll all be certified by them. They'll be I think the rules will be clearer from the FCC on how you certify radios. And then probably most importantly is how do you certify the databases working with the radios? Right? So all that is being sorted out now. So the FCC's never done anything like this before.